I would like for everyone to take a big sad goodbye to, to the great Jin Joe that lost a life and granted a hoe, came and demolished their home. A minute silence for those who have fallen. Raw deeply sound. That was that was a minute. Let's let's just go for it a minute. So, but well, hello, good folks of YouTube. Welcome. But where the fuck am I going? Welcome back to some more Benjo to Weedia. Episode 15, I believe. Yes. I lost track on, on all the episodes. So, <clears throat> in the last episode... Ah! That's so much better. Uh, shouldn't you be in the war where it's uh, safe for? You're right. I'll probably dry up and uh, die if I don't get back to the moat around the spiral mountain soon. I suppose you'll be wearing a caravan. Well, I would work there myself, but we goldfish are a little <laughs> disadvantaged in the leg department. <laughs> uh, some of the some of the character character talk in this game is just plain out hilarious. Like I was saying, episode whatever it is. Thanks, guys. Perhaps this extra bubbles may be of some use. Bubbles. We want to raise the JJ for that. I'm sorry. I'm all over those. However, I'll also teach you how to swim faster. Super press A and X together. Cheerio. I love that character. He's my bae. You, you just know he's my bae. So yeah, like I was saying, welcome back to some more Benjo 2. We were cut off short in the last episode because of some technical issues. You see, I lost my headphones and it's... I don't know what it is, but something fucked up. But I'll tell you more about that when we get to the plateau... plateau? Plateau. I, don't, I still don't know how to fucking pronounce that. See you there. Okay, as we're here, I will guess we'll say a quick hello to our mistress, <coughs> Miss Bunny Beehive. She's so high. I'm Honeybee. I trained your extra energy units and we two of them to honey cups. You have enough honey cups for one extra unit. Do you want to train? Of course, Baba. Honey BB, honey BB stands for honey Bobo, because it's honey Bobo. Get it? I'm the funniest guy. Don't you question my funniness? I'm funny. So we get an extra life. I can't say no to extra life or extra health pieces. That is an extra life we don't have because we're too awesome for that kind of bullshit. We don't need crap like that. Well, as we're here in the plateau, plat <laughs> can I just stop fucking saying saying that? As you see here, we get two switches. We can go in the here last time, so we went into the left department of this place, and we ended up in a, a fun house of sort, a amusement park. So let's see where the magic of double jumps. <sighs> Remember those times in Team Fortress we can, where we could double jump? Those were the times. 
Those were the times all around. Like we said, we step on the switches, we open up this fence. And that makes our, our journey so much easier when tra traversing the land into... I don't want fucking you to interrupt me again while I talk. You did that enough at the start of Witchy World. <clears throat> As we see here, we got Mr. Colonel... What's his name again? I don't know. Freezing core, but that's the price for launching eggs of solid ice. Oh, baby, I can enjoy some nice icy. What the fuck are you doing all the way down there? <laughs> He's just flying in the air. What the hell? Oh, I don't know. This game, this game. Like I said, we got some ass. Like icy cool ass. And you see here, what the shite? A mum mumba token. No, not m mumbo, mumbo pad in the middle of the old world. We've never ever seen that before. But that brings me to a point. Like you remember, we got that big ass wamba hut at the outside of Witch World, and we also got uh, a mumbo launch pad here. So the thing those are is that it's pretty cool. I think, like in Banjo Kazooie, you only had Mambo's place inside the world, but here you actually get to, spoiler, get to see Mambo and Hamba in the other world. And I think that's pretty nifty. It's cool of the developers to think that these uh, characters live outside of the world as well, not in just inside the levels, but outside as well. I might just think too much about it. You see, here has the Mambo hat. But I always thought that was really, really cool. Well, enough of that. We opened the train pad, but we can't probably we can't do anything with it yet. So I wasn't going to try because, well, we have not gotten Mambo pad thing, and I believe the Mambo pad thing is the thing that opens the thing. You hear me, thing? But before we go down, let's see what's down here. I don't quite remember. I believe it's nothing important. Oh, it's a switch. Okay, yeah, it's a switch for later. We don't have a use for it yet. But it opens up our passage to that Colosseum-ish place. And that Colosseum-ish place is actually a world, if you haven't guessed it. But enough of that, it's been too long into the episode, we need, we really need to get started on the new world. And that's why I want to welcome you to Jolly Rogers Lagoon. Boy and boy how I hate this place, it's my second least favorite place. And here, yeah, whoa, this is a dublon, dublon, dublon. What the fuck? These are the only accepted currency accepted in Jolly Rogers Lagoon. Yeah, so those things are currencies in here. Because it's not only notes here. We also get some other stuff. And, well, that's... That's pretty much what those are. We can buy stuff with it. As you might have guessed, we do with currencies. But what we can buy... You just have to wait. Figure... And figure it out. I don't want to stand too close because, as you can see here, there's a crack in the wall. And when there's a crack, we can blow. We can blow the cracks all day long. That sounded really perverted and sexual. I'm sorry for any kids watching this. You probably should go back to bed. It's late. Go to sleep. You can't stay up watching me. Okay, you can. It's a good way to sleep. I'm pretty boring. Pretty boring, so we'll have no trouble sleeping. So yeah, um, what else is there to say about this place? As you can see here, we got we got this big ass water place, and then now is a good time to say test out the upgrade we got. You see here, we got twice as much bubble, but holy damn, there's a, there's so much down there. Can't even survive. So hopefully we'll get some kind of scuba suit or any diving diving equipment some times in the future. I no, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't hope. I hoped it would, but I probably knew it wasn't going to be able to jump up there. The game's too smart for that. Can't just give you an easy 
an easy Jinjo like that, just out of nowhere. You can't do stuff like that. That's just mean. That's just nasty. It's straight up nasty. So yeah, Jolly Roger's Lagoon, my second least favorite place because I just I just hate some of the challenges we're going up against in this world later on. But speaking of challenges, why the hell do you have three arms? Um, Miss Miss, Miss Piggy, Miss Piggy. Why do you have free arms? Please fix the pool. Please push me in the other week. And look what happened to me, my arm. Well, I didn't want you to say anything. <laughs> Thanks. I'm a little dirty about it. As you might expect. Freak out! Guess who you're so fucking mean sometimes. Help us, help us sort out the pool out. What? What's wrong with it? It looks fine to me. I want to go swimming, but the water is polluted and icy cold. Mm. This one may, may take some time. Yeah, uh, we we can't do jack shit about that yet. It's, it's like Banjo said, a long convoluted process to heat up the water and to unpollute it. That was another weird sentence. I'm just great at making weird senses. I'm not going into any other house just yet. I just wanna go around, show you a little bit of the outworld, pick up some uh, currencies because we're gonna need a lot of it. And speaking of that, we can talk to Jam J. It ain't happening, lady. You need to get rid of Flutty Boy before you learn this one. Oh yeah, fair enough. Cause who are you, fucking smoker? I shouldn't hate on Kazooie. She's a lovelable. Love, lovelable. What the hell is lovelable? You your lovelable. <laughs> he, she's a lowly. She's a lovely lady. So I guess we can just go and go and learn. Sit here with Jem, Jem, Jemmy Juju, Jemmy, Jemmy Ju, Jem, Jemmy, Jemmy Colonel. What's his name? <laughs> I'm just having way too much fun with this game right now. I have so much fun with making fun of Jam J and making fun of K K Coco. What Jam J has to say? You lost. You lost the safety that Banjo brings. Defend yourself now with your wings. Roll them around by pressing X. A useful attack. I think you'll agree. Oh, that didn't rhyme. Why did I say? I think you'll agree. This missed. So thank you, K K. No. No, don't don't even go there. Don't even go try to say the last K, man. It's no KK uh, extra K in this business. No. Oh no. Okay, so I showed you pretty much everything there is to see in the overworld at the at the start now. So let's go into one of the houses. And oh, it's a J K. I like Jiggis. What you gotta say? Great. Uh, greeting friends, the name's Palm. I'm local Palm Broker. We're interested in that. Jenga in the case. Ah, a real nice piece. Circa Banjo Kazooie. So I was told, I reckon 20 gold doubloons will be a fair price. 20 doubloons? Well, I want the Jenga, not your whole shop. And we only got 17. I didn't make that jump. Banjo, you're a professional, professional diver. You should know how to backflip. Like we saw you did in that one episode. And you get, you got pretty much good scores. <laughs> uh, bringing up the, because you know, you know Banjo is a, is a, loves to, he loves to dive. If he hadn't met Kazooie and gone on these adventures, I'm pretty sure he would be a professional professional diver by now. Don't you agree? Um, where did we have to jump here again? Okay. We have to jump here, grab onto the ledge. Don't fall. Grab the ledge. Don't fall. Grab the ledge. 
don't fall, grab the ledge, don't fall, grab the ledge, mm -mm, don't fall, grab the ledge, don't fall, grab the ledge. Oh, that's a tricky one. Trying to camouflage himself and stuff. Even his body is great. That's not going to work. Fucking hell, what? Oh, okay, I can agree to that. Skull, beach, beach, skull, skull, beach, beach, skull, skull. Beach, beach, skull, skull, beach, beach, skull. I'm so crazy. I'm a cray cray motherfucker. Cricket cray cray motherfucker. What am I singing? Like, seriously, why the hell am I singing all this episode? I'm not, I can't even sing. I'm fucking suck at singing. And I swear, like a sailor. I cuss like a sailor, that's the saying. Looks like I'm dumb as a bread as well. You're respawned. Why the hell? Like. All right, where were I? Where was I? Is it where I? Where were? Is I were or was? I, I can't recall. But at least, where. I was talking about something before my father interrupted me. Oh yeah, I was talking about how I didn't manage to fucking dodge that motherfucker. And I and that I cussed like a sailor. Because he's a massa he's a motherfucker trailer. Oh, yeah, and I also talked about how I'm why why I'm singing while I suck. As a known fact. That MPO sucks at singing. And tries to fake a British accent. Fails miserably. Oh. Oh. Look, it's another crack. That's not the that's not correct button. Uh that one. I found the button. Well while we in the basement of the waste disposal plant, I just have one thing to say. And that is, if you enjoyed the episode, you know what to do. You have to YouTube stuff this episode because YouTube stuff helps me out so much, and I really appreciate it. And I love all of you guys. Hope you enjoyed this series so far. Hope you're going to come back. Hope you're going to score a goal after your comeback because in a football match, it's, an, it's a good thing to score a goal after you've done a comeback. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Remember to do stuff like I said, I don't know why I say it so often, but hey, it's my life. I will see you in the next one. Uh, bye bye. <laughs>